Hi everyone and welcome to the next session of introduction to cryptography. In previous session we learned that cryptography is used to write top secret messages. In today's session we learn about codes and ciphers. As mentioned before cryptography uses both codes and ciphers. Uh, but what is the difference? So codes are basically semantics or the meaning of the language. An example of code used by Navajo code talkers for the word plain is wo ta pe ni e. In contrast to codes, ciphers are based on syntax or symbols. Ciphers are typically just a set of instructions, an algorithm for converting one set of symbols, example letters, into another set of symbols, example numbers or pictographs. An example of a simple letter to number cipher is a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, c is equal to 3. And if I am to say a, b, c, I would say 1, 2, 3. All that being said, while codes and ciphers are different, the terms are often used interchangeably. Morse code, for example, is technically a cipher, not a code, but it is called Morse code and not Morse cipher. Don't know what I'm talking about. Well, don't worry. We'll learn about Morse codes in the coming sessions. So for now, let's take one one example of both cipher and codes. So we will need the military codes. a pen and a paper to write our codes now let's get started the military alphabet officially the international radio telephony spelling alphabet consists of 26 code words which corresponds to 26 alphabets for instance alpha means a bravo means b charlie means c delta means d and so on till z so for coding purposes we'll use a combination of these words to make a word for example dog will be said as d stands for delta so delta o stands for oscar oscar g stands for golf golf since all these 26 alphabets are pronounced differently hence there is no confusion now let's see some common military phrases for example bravo zulu means good job good job and charlie mike means continue mission Similarly November golf November golf means no good sorry no good and then Oscar Mike means on the move let's go on and then tango Yankee means thank you. That was fun, right? Now let's spice the game up a little and make our own military code language. We will make sentences using the military codes. For example, I need to say oh dear. So, I'll find the words for each alphabet. That is O means Oscar H means hotel D means delta E means echo A means alpha and R means Romeo Now what we will do we will add some words around these oscar hotel delta echo alpha romeo so that it makes a sentence but make sure that in your actual sentence for example it's saying oh dear we'll make sure these are together and these are together to ensure that we'll put a full stop oscar went in a hotel oscar went in a hotel full stop that means one sentence has completed now let's start with the other sentence 
um, let's say he found delta said said with echo alpha and Romeo so this sentence means Oscar went in a hotel he found Delta said with echo alpha and Romeo now this might not make sense but we know that how to decode it for example we look for Oscar then went in a now these words aren't in the military code so we'll cross them out hotel yes so we'll make hotel similarly he found no no delta yes said with no no echo yes alpha yes and no romeo yes now let's count the alphabet corresponding to these words o h d e a r and it becomes o since it was a full stop it's single o then d e a r o dear see it was this easy now let me show you something can you crack this out let's see whiskey in the hotel for alpha and tango delta called oscar yankee found oscar in uniform it is november and echo echo everywhere help me oh delta did you figure this out well if not no problem let's do it together so the first word is whiskey whiskey is there so this is a word What do you need? Maybe some good cryptography lessons. You can make your own phrases and your own military language. That was an example of codes where we make meaning of language. Now let's try the cipher now. We will need a book, a pen, and some papers. You are good to go. For a book cipher, you need a book, of course. And you create a code by providing the page number, line number, and the word from a specific book for each word in your secret message. This book needs to be available with both sender and the receiver of the message. It can't be just any book, but rather it has to be the same book to ensure the page, line and the word positions match. People used a common book previously, for example, Bible or a dictionary, as it wasn't unusual to find these books in any home. Now let's try it with the random book I have. This book tells the story of Ramayan, the story of Diwali. But today we'll use this book to tell another story, a secret message. So first we will need to write what we want to say and then we will search for those words in this book now let's say I want to say hello everyone hello 
everyone i will help you with your story i will help you with your story okay now let's search for the hello world in this book um okay we have found our hello world so it's actually on page 3 line number 1 2 so this is going to be 3 2 this is the page number this is the line number and then we are going to search for the word number so narrator is going to be one word then this colon is going to be the second and then hello is the third one so it's going to be 3 2 3 and then to represent we'll either use a slash or a comma i'm going to use a slash so here this is now all you need to figure it out is this book and so if you give this code to anyone and if you give this book to them they'll be able to figure it out what this means is in the school so can you figure this let's do it together Let me go to the jungle and have fun. See, we figured it out. This was so easy. So in today's session, you have learned about cryptography which uses codes and ciphers. You have learned about what is code and what is cipher. Keep coding and keep learning and I'll see you in the next session with another fun exercise on cryptography. That will be ancient cryptography. Till then like our video subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family if you like it bye bye